But this is actually kind of a cool curve of Scion into Trindamir into Feel the Rush. It levels up. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scion Trindamir Feel the Rush. We're going to be going big. We're heading on over to Freljord. We're playing almost mono Freljord uh, because we're going to be having Avaros and Outriders hit the Allegiance, grant the top ally in our deck plus three, plus three, and overwhelm because we're going to want to be going big. Hopefully we do that with Enrage Yeti. The reason why we're going big though, to uh, you know get back to it, is our champion Scion. Uh, you know, huge overwhelm, Trindamir, huge overwhelm, feel the rush being able to put them both in. You can make both Trindamir and Scion at 10 tens. That should level up Scion when you need to summon 35 plus power. And that's what we're focusing on in this deck. We're not worrying about the discard thing. We're just worrying about summon. And so that's, so that's why like all these like Yetis and Outriders and stuff, that'll also help us summon a lot of power. But feel the rush puts in 20 power by itself. That should be leveled up Scion. So now you'll have like a 10-10 Overwhelm with this awesome Last Breath. And then you'll also have this 10-10 Overwhelm with, again, a pretty awesome Last Breath uh, type effect with the level up. So that should put a ton of pressure, 20 Overwhelm, where your opponent can't even kill your stuff. Uh, so that should be pretty cool. So that's kind of the combo here, is just feel the rush with those two. And then besides that, we're making large yetis and just other Freljord stuff, and uh, that's kind of about it. We'll have a, three Culling Strikes in here where we can have like some Flash Freeze Culling Strike combo, Troll Chant to help Culling Strike. That's going to be like our only other Noxus card for just a little bit of removal, and uh, we're just going to try to attack and attack for a lot. So let's get to it. Looks like it's going to be fun. It's Scion Trindamir. Scion Trindamir, feel the rush. And we got Zoe Nami to start with. Could be a good Culling Strike matchup. We want to curve out with our Yetis and stuff, though. Feel the rush. See, Trapper puts the enrag Enraged Yeti on top of the deck, which helps the Outriders hit Allegiance. And also, you get a 1-mana 8-8 Overwhelm. So basically, we don't want to draw the Enraged Yeti first. We want it to be the second card down. That's the ideal spot out of the three. It could be, you know, first, second, or third. We really want it to be second. That's a fearsome. So let's draw something else. Cooling Strike, maybe? No, oh, that's the Enraged Yeti. See, we want that right there for the start. Alright, good. We still hit the Allegiance. Because the next round, we would have been able to go like Ancient Yeti and Enraged Yeti. And that would have been awesome. <laughs> Given Tonic goes, uh, did anybody notice that perhaps the slowest card in the game is called Feel the Rush? Full stun. How about that? Surrender. Yeah, because we just have a lot of power in play, and you know, like, even, like, they're only attacking for small amounts of damage. And then we were going to have, like, the Flash Freeze and Troll Chan and stuff to, like, they were, it's going to take them a while to kill us, but we were just going big. Z uh, Zareth Ziggs? So, landmark deck with, like, the, con like, Z Zareth is the control landmark person, Ziggs is the aggro landmark person. Champion. So, we're combining both those together. Alright, got our 2-3-4. We got, and then Ancient Yeti. This is a good hand. It's a good hand. We can again, uh, oh wow, double Ancient Yeti. Yeah, real good hand. 
We can again try our Enrage Yeti, Avaras, and Outriders plan. No, that's literally what we're doing right now is running you over. And getting two Nexus damage in. Please don't play Ziggs. Mm, I think it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Guess I pass. Gross. Good. Gotcha. Alright, something else. Okay, cool. Perfect. Now that should be the one... Hopefully that's the one mana 8-8. Eight, eight. And then we can play that and these ancient yetis and everything. That worked out fairly well. I guess I should have attacked with the trapper. Oh, ancient hourglass, alright. I guess this waste walker is going to be huge. A seven one. Seven three. Hopefully these first. Yep. Now I don't want to uh, play another 5-5, five five, because then that makes that an 8-3 that trades with this Enrage Yeti. Okay, so Scion won't quite be leveled up. But this is actually kind of a cool curve of Scion into Trindamir into Feel the Rush. It levels up. Alright, so this kills the 5 2. Alright, whatever. Sorry, 5 2, you did. You did. Oh, right. Never mind. Scion's the weakest. Never mind. They had a really good quality hand, too. Because our hand was awesome. But there's with the Waste Walkers and all the landmarks, and then both champions here around seven. That was also a good hand. Alright, sorry, Scion. But I got other stuff to be doing these next couple of rounds. So, sorry. Who would face me? Would you look at this place? So that's what, 16, 26, 26 Overwhelm. They're gonna need that Pokey Stick for my big Enrage Yeti, for my 8-1. And then that's still 18 Overwhelm, so I don't know what they do from there. Too bad our deck was too good, we didn't get to, you know, feel the rush and then get another Trindamir and another Scion in play. That's 2-0 for Scion Trindamir. That was the absolute dream hand. Just from round two to round eight, we did the best thing we could. 
I guess we didn't have Omenhawk round one. Do we keep Troll Chant? <laughs> what do you think, Harvey? Do you think we keep tr Troll Chant? It's like you're like always like happy to have Troll Chant, right? Or like usually? Usually happy? The good part about keeping this spell is that maybe then we have some more allies here on top. Alright, opponent super rude. They did have round one Teemo. Wow. Alright, so the question now is basically play sentry or hold up two mana for troll chance. I guess hold up two mana for troll chance. Because we're, we're definitely playing Outriders into Hearthguard, right? We're definitely doing that the next two rounds. We call where the War Mother Did we miss Allegiance right there? To Scout Camp, we did miss this Allegiance. Like mm. Well, at least we gave the Omenhawk Overwhelm. This is our home. Dissident. If only they just didn't have round one Teemo. This Teemo... I just can't deal with. Never know what hit him. Like, do I use... Troll Chant to keep it from leveling up? No, probably not. Probably want to use it here after, like, the next time. Or, like, hopefully have more uses for it than just that. Man, their hand has been... Amazing though. <laughs> These vandals Vandal City cards. I should make a speech. Uh, where's my speech? Oh wow, his mustache is himself. This land is ours. The winter's claw. Probably helps them more than it helps me clearing up the board space. Like attacking with the Omen Hawks, I mean. Shall we bully off? Keep me. Go away. Now I got space for sentry. They have space to. They're just going to be able to completely refill their board. Yeah. Vandal City has infinite blockers. We need big, overwhelmed stuff like Trindamir. Because they have infinite 2 twos. I should make a speech. Uh, where's my speech? Oh, wow. His mustache is himself. <laughs> that seems pretty fair. For one card, you get a 2-2 two -two and a 2-3 and a 3-2. Alright, so good news. We can't draw Omenhawk anymore. There's only one other sentry in the deck, even. Gives me an open spot. And now this is where we draw Feel the Rush. For the thrill of battle. Live to fight. Our banner will lead the way. Probably not really any reason to attack with that Omen Hawk. I hate you. You will sing. Absolutely. Top hole. Bullseye. Light the signal fires. 
All right, that should be leveled up, right? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Hmm. More elusives. Avalanche? It's gonna be tough for them to stay alive. Right? I mean, this is a lot of overwhelm. This is a lot of overwhelm. What's the worst that can happen if I play the Ancient Yeti? I don't think they're gonna have, like, stun cards, are they? I think I might as well. Yeah, how about that? They need, like, mini-morphs. Hopefully they don't have them. Uh, this was like I hope I wish this was like to play discard a card or pay like an additional three all right so it's still lethal so far all right cool they did have many more for scion but still lethal how about that how about that start that they had with round one Teemo, then all those bandle cards and just big overwhelms for the victory still Yetis versus Elites. Okay, double Ruthless Raider. Flash Freeze is a good trick. Trindomir is awesome. I think I'm just going to keep Raider, Raider. And, you know, trying to curve out. Okay, we got a Culling Strike for the very first time. Game number four, first time to see that. I do not want them to have the 2-2. The Battle Keep Battlesmith, that card. At least we do have Culling Strike to try to kill it, but they will get one plus one plus one at the very least. Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk's cool. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I, I Culling Strike that Battlesmith and then they Sharp Sight. Gone very poorly. One banner, one destiny. A real battle. A fight. I'll take everything. Yeah, they had the sharp sight. Which I guess I should have saved for alive and just thrown the Omen Hawk in front of the Vanguard Defender, because that was probably going to be my play. And I 
Yeah, good play. Gladly, sir. A Damascus soldier is worth ten foes. Discipline and steel. Not the best avalanches. Not the best avalanches. Approaching the battlefront. I'll turn the tide. Glory unrelenting. Not sure what our best draw is. I don't know if we have like really any really best draw right now. But we need just big things. I guess you count as kind of a big thing. Four seven. But long ways from leveling up. We haven't we haven't uh, summoned a lot of power this game. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. That's a good draw. There we go. That's a good one. Side by side, into battle. Nothing escapes my watch. That's very good. Oh, that's terrible for me. More cards. Alright, feel the rush. Feel the rush on top. That's not good. Three and one. Good hand, elites. All right, we got Gangplank Sejuani for our last one here. Good hand. I shall keep. I was expecting open attack. Surprise, they did not open attack. Access. Alert the villains. Leave nothing standing. You poor thing. Job, so we did not want them to get the Nexus for leveling up. Uh, they're champions. Thankfully, Black Market Merchants, the 
the you know nav is now the, the bottom of the deck not the top remember that used to be a big problem with playing you couldn't play Everose and trapper because they would nab it from From the bottom, so I, I wanted to you know get this enraged idea, of course, the plus three plus three. But yeah, same thing. You know, you couldn't play these outriders. Like, imagine if that was the top card still, they would have taken some really good stuff. I'm just gonna set it all in. If they have, they could have their three three block my two two, but you know we have these other three threes coming on in. Um, Alright, where are they at? They're at three. This round's gonna be four. Okay, okay. Like a seven five tough. It's not bad. Fight or die. Patience. Oh, we got a trapper. They're out there. I'll spot them. Alright, we're gonna have to level up Scion. Ooh, not attacking. They had to attack to make it four, but they didn't want to attack, so. Not attacking. If I play leveled up Scion, then they do have the ability to set Juani. And that wouldn't be great for me. If I attack like this, it's not gonna be lethal anyway. I think it's worth playing Scion, even though. You know, because like Sejuani's really bad for me for me just all the time. But at least it's on the defensive the vulnerable thing is on the defensive turn and not on whenever they're attacking. Ooh, no Sejuani. Alright, you go first, then you, then you. Then you you you. That could be game. Remember, uh, this monkey idol can't block, so they they only have five blockers. They probably cannot afford to block the Omen Hawk, I would assume. I think this is game, right? Because this is 18, 18, 21 Overwhelm. And they're at essentially 9, because they can't block the 2 2. Oh, Flash Freeze. I didn't think they had that card, but I guess they nabbed that from me. I guess they nabbed that from me. Alright, so I get to draw a card. Their Gangplank levels up. Their Gangplank's going to level up because of this monkey, Powder Monkey, either way. So, take this. I don't think there's a good pull chant. They got a, bar a barrel and a monkey. A barrel of monkeys. Yeti's got overwhelm. Hearthguard doesn't, but Hearthguard buffs all this other stuff. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Okay, GG's. We got him. Scion's like sitting there being like, go ahead, attack. Let the world see. Alright, so Scion Trindamir looked really good. 4-1 and one record, beating some good decks. And I think we just saw the power of Overwhelm in those games. I, I loved how Avaros and Outriders looked. That card looked great, giving something that plus 3, plus 3 with the Overwhelm. Um, our Yetis were good. You know, like, Enrage Yeti was really solid. Ruthless Raider, solid. Get the card draw with the Sentry. Yeah, I liked how our deck looked. You know, just Freljord Smash. Unfortunately, we never got to cast Feel the Rush. We had it one game. But we killed our opponent on round eight, and so we didn't get to actually cast it. That that's the really the too bad part. Even though you know we did go four one, our deck looked great. We didn't get to do this because that would have been really cool seeing Scion and Tridimir with the Field of Rush. But our opponents were just dying too fast, you know, just that kind of thing. So Scion Tridimir look good. Now was Scion better than like just playing Sejuani in this deck? Eh, I don't know. Pro probably not. But uh, I don't know. Maybe. I guess at, at times it was, right? At, at times, like, whenever we had leveled up. It d depended if Scion was leveled up or not. Some games it wasn't leveled up, and Sejuani would have been better. But then other games, like like that last one, Scion was leveled up, and it was awesome.
kind of kept them from attacking so yeah there we go cool just like a different way to play scion right like every scion deck we've seen is just like all discard all the time this one is one that just focuses on the summon 35 power so that's kind of cool and plus like how often do we actually play trindamir right not very often but trindamir was awesome in here so maybe just playing freljord overwhelm is a, something to be doing these days with all of these like tutus from vandal city everywhere maybe we need some more overwhelm all right, but that's it for Scion Trindamir. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And if you try out the deck yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Or if you got any other uh, suggestions for the deck, ideas, anything like that, any feedback, love seeing those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. But that's it for Scion Trindamir. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.